Many people associate HIV and AIDS with um, a death sentence still, or as something that is not included in their life because they're not in a certain group. Um, in the early stages of the epidemic, that's very much what the messaging was, but that has changed. The epidemic has shifted, and HIV can affect and infect anyone. <laughs> Um, what we wanted to do was to help people understand that HIV is in the community and that we all have a responsibility to play in helping to reduce HIV and get Vancouver to zero. We want to be able to get to a place where there's zero new infections in Vancouver. The numbers are actually going down. We have about 13,000 people in BC who are known to be living with HIV currently. Um, we are the only province in Canada that is seeing a declining rate in HIV. The other provinces, unfortunately, have not had the same experience um, as British Columbia. Uh, year on year, our rates have continued to fall, but we still have three to 400 new infections reported every year. St. Paul's Hospital is internationally recognized for its research and treatment of HIV AIDS, delivering 11% of all HIV AIDS care in the country. It has an immunodeficiency clinic, a one-stop shop which provides primary care for about 1,100 patients living with HIV. It has a 24-bed inpatient ward where the sickest patients come to get treated. Nurse administrators Jane McCall and Agnes Stan say about 80% of the patients come from the downtown east side and Granville Street. Many have addiction and mental health issues and lead chaotic lives and find it difficult to stick to the daily drug regimen required to manage the virus. St. Paul's is also home to the Center for Excellence in HIV AIDS Research Lab where technicians test the blood work of all HIV positive patients in Canada with the exception of Quebec, to determine what drug combination the virus will best respond to. The gold standard in HIV treatment is a triple drug cocktail called Highly Active Antiretroviral Therapy, or HEART, which stops HIV from developing into full-blown AIDS and has turned the once lethal disease into a chronic condition. Dr. Julio Montaner, Director of the Center for Excellence and the Chair in AIDS Research at UBC's Faculty of Medicine, helped pioneer HEART. Uh, our expectation is that treatment prevention is going to allow us to bring down uh, HIV uh, morbidity, mortality and transmission to very low levels if we apply it correctly. But in order to really, really uh, give it the, the final blow, uh, we would like to have a cure so that we can get people treated appropriately but then basically solve the problem uh, without having them uh, needing to take treatment for the rest of their life, which is a very taxing proposition. It's, it's, you know, um, we, we, um, we view this as a success because we're coming from an era where there was no treatment and the outcome was universally fatal. Uh, so it is a huge breakthrough. But if we really want to make this better, uh, we need something that would allow people to say, no more pills, no more nothing, it's done, it's over. And uh, if we, in addition to that, could have a vaccine to help the HIV negative population to protect themselves, uh, that would be fabulous. And so th that would allow us to bring it down from, from virtual elimination of HIV, which is what we're currently proposing, to true eradication. 